So if you're in the market looking for a budget, affordable entry-level gaming headset, you're in the right place. Because today we'll be taking a look at the Exa T8 stereo gaming headset. And on Amazon India, it's going for 1600 rupees. And for that price, I think it comes with some really cool features and good sound quality for gaming. In today's video, I'll be giving you guys my full honest review on the Exa T8 because I've been using it as my main gaming headset for about two weeks now. So I'll give you guys, you know, the unboxing experience, the design and build quality, the comfort, the sound, and we'll also be doing a microphone audio test. So you'll get an idea of how the microphone sounds. So everything you need to know about the XRT8 in this video, should you buy it or not, keep watching till the end, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get more videos like this. But with that being said, let's get started. All right, so, you know, keeping this video really short, starting off with the unboxing experience, first things first, you get the headset itself, and inside you also have a two-in-one headphone and microphone splitter, and you also get the warranty card slash quick start guide. And that's the unboxing experience. Starting off with the design and build quality and an overview of the headphone itself, it's got a really simple design and a really lightweight as well. Majority of the headphone is made out of plastic and the build quality is average to decent. It's okay. It's really flexible in my opinion and has this adjustable headband as well, which has this, you know, creaking sound, but the headband itself is good. It's not metal. It's still plastic but it has a decent feel to it. And for the price of 1600 rupees, I think the build quality is kind of average. Now doing a quick little overview of the headset itself, talking about the cable, it is a two meter long cable. It's not braided, it is still a PVC, you know, plastic kind of cable, and it terminates into this USB port and 3.5 mm jack. Now the USB port is only for the light, so when you unplug it, the light turns off, and when you plug it in, the light turns on. And this light only glows in one color, and you don't have any control over it. You can't change the color or the effect. You can either turn it off or turn it on. It's not too flashy, it's not too funky, and you do have the option to turn it off, so you know I don't have any complaints here. And the 3.5 mm jack will handle both the microphone and the sound for the headset. That's nice, and I like the quality of the cable. It's pretty thick, and you know in day-to-day -day use, it should be able to last you a pretty long time. And also on the cable is this inline controller with a volume wheel so you can increase and decrease the volume on the fly and you also have a microphone mute and unmute switch. Talking about the microphone itself is this you know boom style microphone with 120 degree rotation. So let's say when you're not using it you can push it back and when you're using it you can bring it forward and it is made out of plastic again and it's good quality plastic. The microphone feels sturdy and of good quality and here's a microphone quality test for you guys. All right, so this is how the microphone on the XR T8 gaming headset sounds. I'll keep quiet for a few seconds so you guys get an idea for the background noise. And overall, I think the microphone quality is really good and it can be used to talk to, you know, teammates and friends in game or on Discord. And you can also do a little bit of live streaming on Twitch or YouTube. Overall, the mic, you know, captures my voice really nicely and I have no complaints here. So you've heard the microphone sound and you guys let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think. I think it's pretty decent for playing games and talking to friends on Discord and it is a noise cancellation microphone. So again, it should be able to cut out all the ambient noise. And if you're doing a little bit of live streaming on Twitch and YouTube, I think it should be pretty decent for that as well. Now talking about the you know comfort of this headphone, the ear cushions could have been better in my opinion. They're kind of stiff, but again, they are decent for the price. It is an over ear headphone and it has a really good seal in my opinion you kind of you know get isolated from all the sound around you because the clamping force on this headphone is kind of high so it has this really good seal around your ears and yes it is comfortable and it does pass the glasses test as well so if you're someone who wears glasses this headphone is still you know comfortable and with the adjustable headband it should be able to fit you know basically any head size out there but if you have you know, large ears, this ear cushion or this ear cup might be, you know, slightly small for you. The left and right is indicated on the ear cup, so there shouldn't be any confusions there. And there is some rubber, you know, padding on the headband itself. There's no cushion here, it's just a piece of rubber, but it doesn't really hurt my head in any way. And I think you can use this for, you know, longer gaming sessions or longer, you know, music listening or movie watching sessions as well. And if you game for about four to five hours, I think it should still be comfortable 
because in my usage I didn't have any problems but it does depend on the shape and size of your head so that's that. Now talking about the most important part of the headphone that's the sound quality and the sound quality on this headphone is actually pretty good it's got 40 millimeter drivers and it's not that boomy sound that you expect from you know cheaper headphones this has actually got some decent sound quality but for gaming you can't really listen to music or watch movies on this one if you really like bass heavy music or you know you want to watch action movies and stuff like that you can watch them on this one but the experience might not be that great but for gaming itself if you're playing fps games like pubg or csgo or valorant the you know sound quality is pretty good like the stereo separation is good the surround effect is good so you can clearly tell where the footsteps are coming from where the gunshots are being fired you know where the action is happening on the map and in that regard, I really like this. I played a bunch of CSGO and Valorant and my experience was good. I was able to tell where the enemies were coming from. The footsteps were really clear. So for gaming, I do recommend this, but for music listening or movie watching, and if you're doing video editing and things like that, maybe you can consider their more expensive offerings like the XR E900 or the E900 Pro. They have you know, a bass heavy sound profile. This one is slightly muddy, but the treble is good on this one. So that you know helps in FPS games and just normal gaming itself, where you have to tell footsteps and surround sound and stuff like that. So stereo separation is good. The volume is good on this one. The bass is not too heavy. Overall, I like the sound quality. So just concluding this review, the XRT8 for a price of 1600 rupees has a decent build quality, really lightweight, comfortable sound quality is good the microphone sounds really decent and the cable is long enough as well and the XRT8 is compatible with a lot of devices basically everything that can accept a 3.5 mm jack so your phone your laptop Mac devices tablets Nintendo switch Xbox PS5 wherever you have a 3.5 mm jack this headphone will work there so you know considering the universal compatibility I really like this headset. It has got some good features. The only drawbacks here are that the build quality could have been better and the splitter that they've included in the box is not of good quality. If you use the splitter that's included in the box, the sound quality and the microphone quality both gets affected significantly. So I would recommend you guys get a separate splitter for yourself off market, just order one from Amazon. I'll link one down below for you guys. But apart from that, Overall, the headphone is good and I do recommend you guys buy it if you're looking for an entry-level affordable gaming headset for about 1500-1600 rupees. If you want something better, I have already reviewed the XI E900 and the E900 Pro as well. You can check those videos out if you're looking to spend a little bit more money on a gaming headset. But with that being said, guys, like this video if you found this video helpful. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. But my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome. Keep smiling and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.